Hello, everybody. Welcome to Covington, Georgia. Welcome to COVID Town, Georgia. Covington. Whatever. Covington, Covington, whatever. We're here. This is like a suburb of the Atlanta metropolitan area. And if you don't know what a metropolitan area, go back to the third grade. You know, like, we're not living in Atlanta. Yeah, you are. It's called a metropolitan area. We stay at this brand new. They just built this. What is this? A, a Maru? Yeah. A, a Maru? Yeah. They just built a Maru here. The things we like. A Maru restaurant right here. A brand new Maru. Mm -hmm. I think Marriott needs to sponsor us. I think we should pronounce it Maru until they, until they sponsor us. Mm -hmm. I think we can pronounce it correctly. Yeah, we'll pronounce it correctly. This is like a nice suburb of the AT to the L. Mm -hmm. Out here in the ATL, the Windy City. Ah! <laughs> See how windy it is? That's why it's called the Windy City. <laughs> okay. Is she wearing a mask? Well, they're building a lot of crap out here in the, in the outskirts of Atlanta, where the players play and they ride on them things like every day. I'm sure people in this town wake up at one in the afternoon, hop in their 1984 Cadillac Coupe de Ville and go to Publix to get cheese and bread for the day. Because, you know, you have to have fresh breakfast. By 2.30 in the afternoon, they're done having breakfast and then they decide to check their Facebook and Instagram before heading off to work. And they thought, you know what? It's hard to do nothing. I might as well just stay home and sleep. They have a Publix here. And yes, they do have Publixes in Georgia. I know my Florida folks think they're the only people in the world who have a Publix. And there's Publixes everywhere. Kentucky is the farthest north I've seen where there's Publix. Nashville? Is it Nashville? Louisville. Louisville got a Publix? Mm -hmm. Wow, they're really investing anywhere nowadays. Yeah, they still have not invested in Mississippi. <laughs> like, Louisville's as far as we'll go. I saw a beautiful white Cadillac pull up in here earlier. 84 Cadillac. Maybe it was a... They're like, as, Alabama is as far as we'll go. <laughs> I saw a really... Ang I saw a news article in Alabama this morning. It just angered me. A lot of things out of Alabama anger me. Another Hispanic in Birmingham. Mm -hmm. This time, they, they were doing a. They were working at a. Check this out. Working at a construction site. The guy uh, came in. Did the robbery, and after the robbery, took one of them out. Can you imagine that? You're working on a construction site. At a construction site working. And and these are the people they're targeting the for robberies. I mean it's just crazy. And then you know they, they, they took one of them out. That's horrendous. That is the second Hispanic that's killed in Birmingham uh in a robbery in the last what year period? Mm -hmm. Unacceptable. Yeah. And when I left Alabama, I, I, I told people that they're they're targeting Hispanics. And, and they said, oh, you're lying. We would never do that. Well, well here's the second yeah. one killed in Birmingham alone during a robbery. Mm -hmm. Kenny, do you find out how much these apartments go for? It would kill some, kill some uh, curiosity. Or yeah. I'm really curious to see what these things are going for. But it, it's just, can you imagine that? In a, in, a, in a, it was about, about what was it about a year ago since the last one? Less. About a year, I think, since the last one. The, the first one was a father of seven kids. These people in Alabama are unbelievable, man. You can get a one bedroom apartment for fifteen ninety five. Oh wow! Really, right here in these new apartments. A two bedroom for eighteen fifty five. Ooh, that's less than we're paying for a one bedroom in Florida. And a three bedroom for twenty three. Wow, mm -hmm. that's not bad. This city's forty four percent African American. Mm -hmm. Um, they used to call Atlanta the city too busy to hate, but now they they should call it the city busy hating. Mm -hmm. But then that title belongs to Birmingham. Yeah. So you can rent for fifteen hundred a brand new luxury apartment in Atlanta. Yeah. In an Atlanta suburb. 
we're paying 2000 for a one bedroom. Mm -hmm. And we also have a public across the street, just like they do here. But we have beaches in Florida. We have mountains here. They got Stone Mountain. Don't they have like 280 nearby that goes into Panama? But wait, there's more. Let's suppose you don't want to get a job. Let's say you want to live here in, what is this place called, Covington? Yeah. Covid Town, Georgia. Let's suppose you want to live here, but you don't want to pay bills. You want to live off the government. Because there's different housing options here. You can go work and get a nice luxury apartment, or, bear with me for a minute, you can get a free apartment in the projects. Food stamps, and it comes with a free husband. You get food stamps, government housing, and a husband. All that for the low and affordable cost of nothing to you but everything else to society. Let's go to the projects. I bet there's a realtor that lives here that's already tiny. Um, I, I, don't show that! Don't show that! I was saying, don't do that. We don't, we, we don't want to show people that. We want to show people the new stuff, the nice, pretty stuff. Don't show people the projects. Katie, how are you? I, I woke up on a really sad note. I woke up to opening my phone to seeing this news article out of Birmingham, Alabama. They just ruined my day already. I have stopped looking at sad news. You've done a wise thing, my son. What is this? Uh, trucking and contracting? A giant Cheetos truck making a delivery to the projects. People in the projects need to have Cheetos delivered by the truckload. Okay, y'all. Welcome to. How much can you rent here for? For free? If it's housing authority, I think so. It might be it's free. the state of Georgia. So you have two options in Georgia. You can go get a job and get a nice luxury apartment in your Publix or. You won't be able to afford Publix, but, you know, what is there, a Piggly Wiggly around here? If you don't want to work, you can live here in the projects. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I like luxury apartments. Mm -hmm. But the beautiful state of Georgia gives you the option either be, are we driving the wrong way? It's possible. Uh, well, that car is, these cars are faced this way. Mm -hmm. So. <clears throat> they might be driving the wrong way. But that's okay. In the projects, there aren't even laws. And if this was a, recent, a, no, a nice new community, you couldn't drive the wrong way. But in the projects, there's no laws here. You see that up there where the stop sign is? So, and then temperature outside is 49 degrees, but my phone's already hot. A lane? Yes. So oh, there's might, a stop sign. Okay, yeah, so you're not driving yeah. the wrong way. Right. That's not bad. Yeah. They have cameras here. You get, you get security. Probably not as much as you want, but. You get some. Yeah, this is nice. Now, here's the part I don't know what to do. For the cover photo, do we take a photo of the projects of the cover photo? Or, hear me out, the publics or the projects? Which one will make a better cover photo? Probably That's a the, confusing... The, uh, the projects. The projects, dog. Ooh. Yeah. Avalanche on 22 looking like a... Avalanche on 22. I mean, can you imagine waking up at noon knowing you don't have to pay rent? Mm -hmm. Society's giving you everything you need that you can just sit here and wake up at whatever time you want to. There's no rush to go nowhere. Just wake up whenever you want to. Mm -hmm. This makes it great. Girl, People wake up whenever you want to. There's no need to rush. We just get the crap out of this guy. Pull it up on him like that. Injuries were grip, gripping for it. Look at all these Yukonators. Mm -hmm. Tahoe Nators, Suburban Nators, Yukonators. Mm -hmm. Nice little dog. Mm -hmm. That dog's cute. Yeah. Why is there garbage on the roof of that building? 
fireworks. All right. All right. Look at all that. There's fireworks on the roof of the building. That means that these people had all the time in the world. I don't like this Camaro coming up on us. Let's see if it passes us. Does it? Okay, well, cool. They have fireworks on the rooftop of that building. And there's, oops, oh, sorry, the leg of the dog. Well, look how much litter and garbage. You don't even have to pick up your own garbage around here. The city will come and clean it up for you. In a luxury apartment, if you litter like that, they'll kick you, they'll, they'll look at the cameras and kick you out of the apartment. But the beautiful thing about living in free government housing is you don't even have to pick up your own garbage. Society will do it for you. You can just leave your garbage. Oh, but the people in the luxury apartments did have to wake up at 5 in the morning to go to work. These people here are just not waking up. Porque tu vida eres mi vida, eres mi amor. Cuando te veo en mi casa, me enamoro de tu pelo que es gigante. Kuliki takati, kuliki takata, ta 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 ta. There's no rush. There's no rush in these places. Watch, oh. watch. Ah! They told us this neighborhood was dangerous. I just didn't think it'd be a car accident. Is that an Oldsmobile? Oh, look at that thing, dog. Mm -hmm. What is that? Oldsmobile. Drive. Cutlass. Nice. I love how many Yukons they have in this neighborhood. Suburbans and Yukons. Mm -hmm. Nice. They're very reliable vehicles. Not as reliable as free government housing. You don't have to worry about paying them, right? <laughs> you could just... I have to worry about paying rent. Look at America. Greatest country in the world. What other country gives you free housing? Free housing. Free housing. What other government in the world does that for you? What a great country. I feel like Dave Chappelle in that one movie. Where he was like, what a country. All right, let's go to downtown. Yeah. This town does have, of course it has a suburb. It's not a suburb. It's not a Birmingham suburb. <laughs> you Birmingham suburbs have Starbucks. There you go. Trust me, I know these things. Oh, where are you a snob? Snob. Aren't you a snob snob? Oh, the popo. Oh, watch out, no. Donut. Oh, the popo, no. They saw us coming out of the projects. They want to make sure that we're not buying anything we're not supposed to. Oh man, we're going to pull up this. El Charro Mexican Restaurant. El Charro Mexican Restaurant is a place for me and you. El Charro has taquitos muy buenos. El Charro has a 4.1 review. You've already read it? No, I haven't. I don't eat, I don't eat like, these like uh, these types of Mexican. When I eat Mexican food, I get real authentic Mexican food. I get Mexican food from like a place that has like Mexicans, not like teenage kids having a date. 4.3. They call it Land of the Windy City. Okay. Did you know Atlanta was a Windy City? This guy's got a roll tight elephant in front of his car. They ought to scrap that thing. Mm -hmm. Is there a Starbucks around here? Yeah. Look at the size of that antique store. Dude, Katie, look at the size of that antique store. Wow. Wow. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. That entire building is full of antiques? Yeah. Time to go shopping. We're saving to buy a house. <coughs> Let's put the wheel before the wagon. Or is it the meal before the... The wagon before the meal? Don't put the meal before the wagon. They'll put the wagon before the... How's it go, Katie? 
Don't put your wagon before the mule. Don't put your wagon inside a mule. Oh, they got a picture of a guy riding a Cadillac as a mural. Oh, that is sick. Oh, this is a beautiful downtown. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. This is gorgeous, bro. I like this. You catch all the murals with the guy riding a Cadillac? That's what I'm talking about, man. See, not all towns in Georgia suck. Just the ones that are in the southern part of the state. When you get to, like, past Atlanta, like, the northern half of Georgia mm -hmm. is really nice. Like, once you get to, like, this part of Georgia, it's really nice up here. Once you get, like, to the northern third of Georgia, like, near Atlanta and north of Atlanta, and especially east of Atlanta, it's really nice. It's the northern half of Georgia you want to be in. The southern half is like a, it's like Alabama practically. Cadillac on 22s. Ain't did nothing in my life to stay true. This is just beautiful. Covington. I mean, the town is named after COVID. That's the only bad thing about it. That mural with the guy riding the Cadillac is sweet. They have they allow golf carts downtown. Oh, dude, I'm so lucky day. Is this a breakfast place? Taco and tequilas. Who has tacos and tequilas at 2 in the afternoon? What do you think? This town is... I'm going to give this town a 9 out of 10. Yeah. I mean, crap. Any town that gives you free housing and a free husband in jail. Oh, look at this, dude. This or is Georgia. Or you could get up at 5 in the morning and have a house like this. Dude, gorgeous. Wow, these houses are just... Oh, can you imagine how happy the slave owners that built these houses were when they built them? Must have been the happiest people. In the Look at how beautiful these houses are. These slave owners must have been the happiest people on earth. I think you've said a lot of things that you're not supposed to do today. You think so? Yeah. Can you imagine how beautiful it would have been to live here in the 1800s? Yeah. Look at these houses. They don't build stuff like that anymore. No, you have to pay for labor nowadays. Yeah. Gosh, these people. You, this is beautiful. Gorgeous. I think I spent too much time in Alabama. That's my problem. I think part of our problem is we have to go back to Alabama every couple months. <laughs> After saying a bunch of bad stuff about them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, hey, aren't you that fella that's been talking bad about us? <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and say this is one of the nicest towns I've seen in Georgia so far. This is just gorgeous. Yeah. Wow, what's a house cost here? One of these big, like, monstrosities. Well, let's see if the realtor wants to work today. Go through Google. I wouldn't even try that. I would go through Google. And I'm just freestyling this drive. I didn't. I don't know where I'm going. It looks like it's actually wanted to work. Oh, the app? Yes. Wow, this is absolutely gorgeous. And they got smaller houses on the back street. Like we're seeing the big house on the front street. This town is absolutely gorgeous. It's like. Look at how beautiful these little houses are. But look, these can't be too much, are they? Like, what's what's one of these like three twos we'll go for? Wow, these are little beautiful Cape Cods. Five. For a Cape Cod? Yeah. No, for like the little houses? Let me see. 230? Mm-hmm. 500? There's not too much on the market. So I'm going to guess these big ones might be close to a million. Because if these are four, two to five hundred. Dude, this town is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I have filters on. Sorry. Oh, show me more. These and there's barely new houses within the empty lots that there are. This is beautiful. Is that the house that's for sale? That we saw. That's the house we just saw. Mhm. Mm is that the house? Is it? I think so. It looks like you can get a cute little one one for like one hundred nineteen thousand. Let me see. 
like, oh, it's so cute. It's like a, it's like a shotgun. It's a baby shotgun. It's only 500 square feet, though. Yeah. But there are affordable options. Yeah. Yo, you can get a house out here for 150. Mm -hmm. Where's this Potterdale? Dude, it's, there's recently like priced houses here. around here. Yeah. 175, 180. We should really look in this town. Mm -hmm. This is great, man. There are reasonably priced houses. Maybe not within like the historic district here, but like in the area. There's yeah. definitely reasonably priced houses. Nice Yukonator. Mm -hmm. I like the way you move. Ba -dum -bum. I like the way. I like the way. I like the way you move. Ba -dum -bum. Yeah, side view. This is one of the nicest towns I've seen in Georgia. Mm -hmm. Nice beamer in the garage, that's what's up. I just don't know. Anybody live out here like living out here? Also, is there a lot is there any racism here? That's really the thing I would like to know. Anybody know this area? I thought like, you weren't allowed to say that word. You can say it every once in a while, just don't like overdo it. Okay. Is there any racism here in this town? Like anybody um feel like there's a lot of tensions here? I don't, like, some parts of the south, it's really bad. It's close enough to Atlanta where you don't have to worry about Alabama. Let me know. I smell bread. I smell like yeast and bread. I know it's toxic for you, but still. Oh, man. I like the way you move. But I'm, I love the way. Yeah, why don't you drive to Atlanta if you're in a rush? Probably is. I would say this town is just beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Okay, let's get some Starbucks and get up out of here. Yeah. So what city do you want to go to next? You want to go to Atlanta, Greenville? I really don't want to go to Augusta. Well, I know we did really well with the videos there. But you remember, want to go to Greenville? South Carolina is the fastest growing landfill in America right now. I, I think we should really head into South Carolina just because of that. It is the fastest growing landfill in America. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Starbucks in? Yep. I'll give this town like a 9 out of 10. Like, I really like it. What about you? 9 out of 10. Yeah. I liked it. <laughs> it is the winter, so it's not going to be as pretty Oh, yeah, as of course. The that's the other thing, too. It's it's definitely the ugly time of the year. But that's all the time we can afford to travel. Hotels are cheaper. Oh, yeah. But we're just going to travel when it's cheaper. You taking me to Starbucks? Yeah. All right. I love the way you move. Ba -dum -bum. Is, there any, is there any Hispanic population here or Asian or anything else other than just black and white? Into Scuba. Look at my little nice little businesses. Where did I know what it's like? A lot of litter, though. You're turning left. What? How do I know that, Katie? If Siri doesn't open her fat mouth and you don't open your fat mouth, how the crap does a man know where to go when women aren't talking? Women are talking all the time, except when you need them to talk, and they're not talking. Can I see the map? Because you're, you're obviously... It told you to turn I, left. I told you to tell me where to go. But apparently, you got a hearing aid problem or something. And all of a sudden, you've been listening to Avril Lavigne for three to four days in a row, but you can't listen to me. I haven't listened to Avril Lavigne I know since how to, I was 15. I know how to treat a woman. A woman likes to get pushed around. That's a problem with a lot of you guys. How do you get a good woman like Katie? You ever ask yourself, 
How do you, ooh, nice, Mozzie. How do you get a good woman like Katie? Let me tell you, the first thing you want to do is be the biggest jerk possible. Women don't want a good, get off me. Women don't want a good, hard-working, decent man. They want a guy that treats her like crap. That's why all the bad boys get all the hot girls. You see all the hot girls? What's the first thing they do? Get knocked up by a guy that's on, that's on probation or something. Why? Because they like to get mistreated. If you get a woman and you take her out to dinner and you buy her flowers, she's going to leave you for one of your best friends. Why? Because women don't want a guy that's nice. They want a guy that's rough around the edges, willing to punch her in the face every once in a while and tell her to get a job because she's lazy. If you get all a good woman like I got here, okay, this is a good chunk of meat right here. This is a good woman right here. Where's the Starbucks at? Get a good woman like Katie. And you start buying her flowers and taking her out to dinners and, and doing all these type of nice things for her. Next thing you know, she leaves you for a guy next door. Because women don't want a guy that's going to be kissing up to her and, and none of that. Women want a guy that's going to punch her upside the head and tell her, shut up, women. And that's how you keep a woman for a long time. A happy woman, too. A lot of guys own women, and they think they're just... That's why I, I used to buy you flowers and take you out to dinner. Because I see these guys that are heartbroken. You ever seen a guy that's just heartbroken? <laughs> I bought her dinner, and I used to get her flowers, and, and now she left me. Oh, now I'm heartbroken. You know why you're heartbroken? Because you're an idiot. How you punched her upside the head and told her to get a better job so you can live better, she'd still be with you. Because they watch the flowers come. Never. I'm never going to buy you flowers. Yeah, because the minute he buys flowers, I'm going to be suspicious. <laughs> what do you mean suspicious? See, that's what I'm telling you. You just proved me right. <laughs> I, she said, if you buy me flowers, I'm going to be suspicious you did something wrong. You see how women work? Yeah. You see that? You guys understand the psychology behind women? Why does this guy have two, three tennis balls hanging off his truck lid? It's touching the Starbucks thing on top. Do you guys hear what this woman just said? She said, if I buy her flowers, she's going to start getting suspicious. Like, if we had a huge fight, it'd be one thing. But if you just randomly bought flowers, I'd be like, I cheated on you. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's what I'm telling you guys. So, you got to take advice from a man like me. I'll tell you how. All these YouTubers talking about how. Uh, buy her flowers. Take her walking on trail. Punch her. First, man. Yeah, you've never done that either, so. I don't need to. <laughs> See, the beautiful, the beautiful thing about a pimp hand is that you don't have to use it. Its presence alone distills power upon it. Well, watch this, guys. See that? She's in submission. I didn't even have to use it. I just have to show it to her. Get off. I'm driving. <coughs> You're choking me out, man. What are you doing? Can you please let go of my throat? Jose, <coughs> I have nowhere near you. I'll flip this camera and they'll see you're choking me. But at the end of the day, you go out and buy a woman flowers. Look at this. Look, listen to what she just said. If I buy her flowers, she's going to get suspicious that I did something wrong. So if you're out buying a woman flowers, you're not helping yourself. You know what you want to get do? You want to get home drunk at 2 in the morning. Throw your shoes on the ground and say, where's my dinner? We're just dating, John. That's the time to really consider knocking her upside the head. <laughs> Let her know you're not dating anymore. It's a serious relationship. <laughs> what are you giving them advice how to get left by a woman? <laughs> Like if you if you're in a relationship right now and it's not going anywhere, show up at her house at two in the morning drunk. Take your take, make sure you're wearing boots, even if your job doesn't require boots. Just put on a pair of dirty muddy boots. Throw them on the ground. <laughs> you have an office job. Just show up at two in the morning. If you got a girlfriend and you want to make your relationship just go to the next level, show up to her house at two in the morning. Throw the boots on the ground. Make sure you're drunk. Where's my dinner, women? John was just dating. Boom. No, we're in a real, real relationship. And you scared the car in front of you. Why does this guy have tennis balls hanging off of his antenna? Do you think it's a prize or something? 
They say that each tennis ball means a girl that's been inside the truck. That's gross. And that's just inside the truck, like, you know, like, each tennis ball represents a girl that's been inside the truck. Which would kind of get let the fourth girl know in this situation that this guy's just running through them. That might be a clue, ladies. Mm -hmm. That this guy is not looking for a serious relationship. I think we have done a great video in this town. Like we have just, we have we have really helped the people that watch this video. They even got <clears throat> Mardi Gras beads on the. One of the girls was from Louisiana. Okay. I don't think this video will anger anybody at all. Like, who would get mad at this video? Yeah. How could you? Yeah. I, I, I... Yeah, it's just so great to advertise how many people you've been with. That's another thing. A yeah. guy should never let a woman know how many other women he's been with. Thank you for choosing the stock post. My name is Gigi. What can I get for you today? Uh, yeah, can I please get a brownie? A brownie? Yeah. All right, would you like that warmed up? No, because I got the fuzzy steering wheel. Okay. And then I'll get chocolate and everything. Um, let me get a, a, a bacon gouda. A bacon gouda. Okay. Anything else for you? Check this out. Grande green tea frappuccino. Grande. I mean, a venti. A venti? Yeah, green tea, green tea uh, mocha frappuccino. Light ice. What kind of frappuccino? What kind, Katie? What am I getting? Green tea frappuccino. Green tea, green tea, yeah. Green tea frappuccino. Yes, thank you. Um, Are you talking about like the matcha? Yeah. Okay, matcha. That, you think I know how to order this by now, but I don't. Alright, uh, light ice coconut milk. Okay. And then check this out. Whipped cream on top, whipped cream on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, and I'll have a venti brown sugar chicken espresso all right a uh bacon sausage and egg wrap anything else for you yeah i'll have the bacon and rear bites and that's it oh, it's a touch okay. screen that's, that's it for you right yes all right, that's gonna be thirty-four thirteen. That's the window. Thank you. You're it's like a touch screen. Yeah. Somebody's like messing with her computer screen, like it's going through menus and stuff while she's doing that. <laughs> Interesting. So. Oh. What happened? Did we get a donation? No. What happened? Can I see it? Let me see it. Oh, your a package arrived. Yeah. It can be there for a while, right? Yeah. It has like Do you a have until the 30th to pick it up? That's not a lot of time. I wonder if you can call away in the front desk if you're past that date and just give her the call and have it pick it up for you, right? They won't do that, will they? Like if you're out of town, you have until the 30th? That's not a lot of time. What's today's date? Today is the 26th. That's not a lot of time. We're, we're not going to be back by then. What can you do about that? Can you, like, buy extra time on the box or something, or? Uh, I'll tell oh. you. Yeah. I'll call the front desk. I'm not a big deal. Okay. Can you give her the call to have her get it for you if you're not back by then? Probably. They might be able to just get it. I don't know. Yeah. Because we're not going to be back in Florida by then. Yeah. Lady's, like, sneezing her head off. Ah! I'm going to go get COVID now. No! Can I tell them what I got? I don't want to die like this. Can I tell them what I got? Huh? Can I tell them what I got? <laughs> They're going to crack up. So I bought slippers for around the house. Not just slippers. I bought orca slippers. She bought orca slippers. Yes, she bought a pair of orca slippers. They look like orcas, but they're slippers. I'm not going to lose my trip. Okay, so what do we do now? 
So he's the 26th. You have to get it out of the box by the 30th? How? Dude, look at that Chevy over there. How are we going to have this done by then? Uh, I'll, I'll call him. Don't call them yet. No, no, no. I'll call them on that day and say, hey. Well, okay, today's the 26th. We're not going to be back in Florida until about the 30th. Yeah. Impossible. What's today's that, 26th? I well, can't lose a, a... It's okay. I might be able to send someone to get it. It's not a big deal. Oh, yeah. How's he going to get in, though? Who? How's he going to get in? We know people that can get it now, yeah. Yeah. But how are they going to get in? You still need a code to get inside that building. Like with any, it calls your phone and you let them in. You can't, can you open the, the, can you open that specific door? Yes, I can send a code, like with anywhere. To get into our building, can you send a code to open the mailbox, the, the door, the main door too? I don't think so. To the door to the house? <sighs> Yes. The, they still have to get inside the gated room where the mail thing is. Can you send a code to open that, or how do you do it? It's not gated. It's. You can walk into there. You yeah. can't walk into there. Not with all those packages. Yes, you can. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But I can't believe you're a stupid orca. I'm not gonna go back to Florida to pick up your twenty-five dollar pairs of orca yeah. slippers. I think it just stays in the room, so. They just throw it out into the main area then? Yeah, I think so. We'll find out. Mm. We'll call and find out. Okay. That's a nightmare of living in a gated community. Like everything's regulated. Mm -hmm. There's absolutely no way I can drive back to Florida. Like we have way too much invested in this I trip. understand. You know, we have way too I much. In, yeah. We just have to. We'll do figure it out. Yeah. Can you pay extra to get extra time in that box? No, it doesn't work like that. They should do that. <coughs> I think it just get, gets moved around. It gets sent to one of those unclaimed package centers and people buy them and ship a truckload of... No. That's why you see people in Africa wearing like... You ever seen like those videos in Africa where people wearing like orca slippers and stuff? Because like what happens is like... No, I can just send someone to get it. It's there's people that, like, buy... You can buy, like, unclaimed packages and stuff, like, at auctions and stuff. And then some guy will buy it and, like, ship it to Nigeria. And here's somebody walking around Nigeria with orca slippers, and you're like, what the crap? Let's <laughs> yeah. get here. You guys walking around, like, Nigeria, like, Tanzania in the middle of, like... The, like, middle of the African safari looking type of little town. A bunch of boxes arrive. They're hoping for, like, clothes and stuff and stuff they can use and... They end up with like orca slippers. <laughs> you ever seen like the Discovery Channel, like watching those documentaries? I'm like, it's like a, a town in like like in, like Namibia or something in the middle of the desert. Yeah. You know, it's like it's like African safari looking type of place. There's like hyenas and elephants in the background, and a guy walks by wearing orca slippers. And you're like, yeah. <laughs> how did this happen? Oh, trust me, I will be walking all over in these orca slippers. Yeah. So there's a few countries that they just buy stuff randomly. Yeah. Like the Philippines is another one of those countries. They just like buy stuff randomly. Like they spy. I don't know what it is. Next thing you know, everybody in towns, work, walk, you see people walking around with like Domino's uniforms and stuff. You're like, is there a Domino's here? I oh, know. I remember when I went to Cuba. Yeah. Like the things that people were wearing. Yeah. Because it's never right. Like you don't order something that's normal. You order something that's like you can't get at Walmart. So it's never like a normal thing. Like you'd see like things that are just so out of place. Yeah. Like what? Well, oh, like a guy wearing a shirt that says I'm a slut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's never a normal thing. That's the thing. Like the, 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 those, like the, the stuff that goes through the mail isn't like normal stuff. Like if you're buying something through the mail it's not normal like nobody if you can get it at walmart you're not going to order it at least not us yeah like if i can it's, it's always something weird like i remember when we went to cuba there was people like wearing like the strangest things ever and like dude you know what your shirt says <laughs> and they'd be like dude i don't care this thing was 25 cents i'm like oh 
I remember in Cuba, like, there would be people who went to visit Cuba. There was, like, people wearing, like, shirts. A guy wearing a shirt says, I'm a huge slut. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, dude, you know what your shirt says? And they're like, I don't care. Dude, it was 25 cents. Remember we saw the black guy wearing the Confederate outfit? Exactly. I'm not making this up. Is that what you were Head thinking? to toe. Head to toe. So my aunt lives, like, in the hood in Cuba. And I don't mean, like, in the hood. Like, we went to the projects here. I don't mean like that. I mean, like, my aunt lives, lived, back then, lived, like, in a shanty town. I'm talking like dirt road, houses made out of tin, like no flowing water for some people. Like when it rains, like that road turns into a river. I'm talking like in the, I'm, I mean like my aunt lived like in a straight up shanty town. Like I'm talking like tin roof, like you're in the bathroom and there's like one inch cracks on the walls so and people outside can like, like I'm literally like I was in the bathroom taking a crap and like there's like a horse braving like through a metal railing. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, like, in a shanty town. I'm talking about, like, imagine, like, you're in a bathroom, and there's, like, a and there's like a tin wall between you and a horse. Like, in a shanty town. Like, you're taking a poop, and there's a horse, like, <laughs> Yeah, like, the horse is smelling it. <laughs> like, the horse is complaining about your farts type yeah. of place, you know? Uh, yeah, like, in a real straight-up shanty town. I'm not making this up. And this black dude walks by, and he's wearing a Confederate hat, Confederate shirt, Confederate shoes. And I don't—I know they don't make this for the American market. Like I've never in America, I have never in America seen a redneck walking around with like a, a straight up like the whole outfit's Confederate. I've never seen that. Have you ever seen that? Not even in Alabama did I ever see that. Yeah. You might have a Confederate hat or a bumper sticker at most, but you don't wear Confederate stuff from head to toe. This is like one of those shipments where like. Somebody in China made a semi truck load of like Confederate stuff and then sent it to New York City. And they're like, well, we're going to pass on this one. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and they're like, oh, this one's going to Cuba. Oh, send it to Cuba. And then like somebody in Cuba picks it up, sends it to like a shanty town. And this dude, I'm like, he's wearing, he's a black dude. He's wearing hat, shirt, pants, shoes, the whole thing's Confederate. Yeah. So I wave him down, like, hey, yo, come, come, come here, bro. Hey, bro, bro. Hey, come here. Do you know what you're wearing right now? He's like, man, it's got stars on it. It's got the red and the blue. Man, I got the whole outfit, dog. This thing is pimping. Yeah. I'm not making this up. That's literally what this That's guy said. That's literally what this guy said. He's like, yo, this this is pimping, bro. Why are you hating on my outfit, bro? Like, like why you got to come to a poor country and make fun of my outfit, dog? This is the, the cleanest outfit in my hood, dog. <laughs> I, the guy, I told him, I said, in the United States, I told him what it represents. Like, you know what he said? I don't live in the United States. I live in a freaking whatever neighborhood, and this is the dopest outfit out here. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he didn't care. I told him, I said, look, this is what this represents in the United States. Like, you should really not wear this. He's like, bro, look at these stars, dog. You might think I'm lying. I'm not. If you've ever been to a poor country, you know what I'm talking about. You see people wearing all types of random stuff. They have no idea what it means. Yeah. Remember the grandma that was wearing like uh, the booty pants? That's oh, yeah, that said juicy. Juicy? <laughs> Your grandma's juicy. Juicy grandma. You got your card because you got to Oh, finally. What? Donation? No. We're not getting enough donations on our channel. We're not getting, we've been live, well not live, we've been recording for 43 minutes and we haven't got a single donation today. Mm -hmm. Y'all ain't right. They're painting the pool? How do you paint a pool? These communities are crazy. Like it's nice to live in one of these fancy communities, but like, They're closing the pool to paint it. They're doing maintenance. Maintenance. Cleaning and maintenance. Maintenance. They're mate dancing, Jose. They're doing mate dancing. I am freezing. And we got more information on trash. These little communities are interesting. Like, you get notifications every day. We're going to be painting the pool Saturday. If your dog poops, make sure you clean it up. We have cameras. 
right, check this out. Yeah. So, I'm making you food. All right. Make sure it's hot. Okay. But, you know, mm -hmm. it's 34 Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You got it. I'm like freezing. Woo. It's cold. It is cold. I'll tell you this window right here. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. This is your stuff. Cool. I'm ready. Go ahead and eat. So we're heading to Greenville's or Atlanta? Greenville's. Do you have an ice cream or macchiato? Yeah. Can we get a straw? Uh, oh. I, I didn't get a macchiato. No? I got the brown sugar I know. I'm asking you, do you want it? I will take it. Yeah, we'll take it. Okay. Yeah, it's free. Yeah, I know where I'm going to put it. We'll got two couple. Yeah, we'll I'll figure take it out. <laughs> I, um, we'll figure it out. We'll make it work. <laughs> we will make it work. Thank you. Thank you. I'm ready to go. So that's like a, what is that called? Ice caramel macchiato. I love these things. Nothing like an ice something on a cold day. You want to try it? Uh huh. What do you call Ice. Maca caramel macchiato. I oh, I love it. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> we share everything. Oh, I could do this on a regular basis. Really? Mm. I, I think they get it breve, which is a little different, but we'll order it for you. You're not sharing that, are you? Mm. <laughs> Remember what it's called? Because I'm having that again. I'll take a picture of it. Wow. Do you want this to be your new drink? I'll try it every once in a while. I like it. Mm -hmm. Like if they don't have matcha? Mm -hmm. Well, I took a picture of it so we know exactly what it is. Mm, that is good. Mm. Mm -hmm. You want some more? Yo, that is good. Whatever it is, I ain't never had it before. It's a that is good. Here's some more. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> what happened to the straws here? They all beat up. Oh, it's like a misprint. Oh, cool. Anybody ever get a misprint? Look, it's a misprint. It's like... It's a misprint. You can't use this straw. This straw is like a misprint. You see that? You ever seen that? Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a misprint. That is the coolest thing ever. They cut it wrong. Mm -hmm. It's a misprint. Mm -hmm. They slice it too early. Yeah. That happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't think we were going to get this on a video. Are there cup holders on here? Um, no. No? I doubt anybody's while you're watching this. Hmm? Well, this has been like the longest Starbucks thing ever. Don't really, it's been longer. Hmm. You go watch this for us. Alright, so we gotta go somewhere. I think Greenville. Mm hmm I think so too. Yeah. Everybody's moving to South Carolina. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. We need to do a lot of South Carolina. Right. And the places people are moving to. Mm -hmm. Hi, guy. What am I saying to you? It's a dude. He's wearing a dress and a rainbow. Okay. Well, it sure ain't Alabama out here. No. So what are the options we have? Greenville, Augusta, or Atlanta. I don't want to do Augusta. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Like, nothing against the town, but, like... Mm -hmm. I agree. We have to make decisions now. I think Greenville. We both think Greenville, so we might as well do it. Yeah. At least I got to eat my sandwich a piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, still waiting on my egg bites, so. Ooh. My drink, y'all. You'll drink some egg bites. You know, we're good. It's 49 degrees outside. I'm, not I'm really leaning towards Greenville. Like, I want to do everything. Then let's do Greenville. I think the next couple months are going to be south. Mm -hmm. Can I say my perfect? Of course. Swimming pool, swimming pool, closer maintenance. Hopefully that makes the feeder work. <laughs> you know we haven't seen yet as pigeon forge. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you oh yeah, um I you know that. Um, mm. sorry. I'm sorry, what happened? Yeah. It's a, uh we still have the bacon and greer bites. Oh those but, are yours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of a confusion here. No, wait, what I want to do is like pigeon forward and stuff. Mm -hmm. Why is your phone frozen? What? Your phone's frozen. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Look how many things have I opened. No wonder. We still have never been to Fort Pigeon Forge. Yeah. That was part of the loop I kind of wanted to do. What's up with the signal here? I don't know. Oh, four hours. Oh, the signal sucks out here. I think I'm fusing here. Mm -hmm. One route takes us through Athens. Gatlinburg. Mm -hmm. But if we go to um, Greenville, you're still kind of heading towards that area. Yeah. That's what I mean. We can do that. Right now, somebody right. just came and asked me, Did I need him? I said, No. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. That's all good. <laughs> Here's your drink. A lot of confusion here, eh? You, you have a place to carve or something? I think you can finish this album, by the way. Yeah, I can probably finish that. Okay. Uh, Most complicated Starbucks ever. Yeah. Confusion is in the air. So this route takes us through Monroe, mm -hmm. Athens. I don't know, I kind of want to do Augusta. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's like, I, I want to see the Evans and all that stuff we had talked yeah, about. Yeah, I want to see all that. Yeah. And I want to see Aiken. And... You Thank you. Yeah, have a good one. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll grab it. No way. So. What's in that What? I guess Augusta. Hmm? Augusta. Augusta to you, Augusta. Okay. Hmm. Somebody in my channel earlier called it Disgusta. Mm. I've never been called that. They may have had a bad experience there. Is there anything else I can eat? 
There's my drink. Mm -hmm. There are way too many Yukons in this town. Mm -hmm. That's it, all everyone drives here. Yukons are everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like the old square body ones too. Mm -hmm. Like mid 90s. Like mm -hmm. late 90s. Semi coming, I gotta go quick. I'm just like cutting off a semi. Okay, so what are we doing? Greenville, Augusta. This, I really wanted to see that Martinez place. Mm -hmm. Oh, GPS, because I'm driving, I can't do it. I know you got your hands full there. Okay. <laughs> She's got like two drinks, a cup, a fork. I'm gonna find a garbage can for you so you can get rid of some of that stuff. It was like a landfill inside this car. Just washed it. No signal at all. Head east on US 278 Northwest. Why am I even holding that? <laughs> okay, the good thing is it's a clear shot in I-20. I think it's two hours in the wrong direction. I would much rather head towards Greenville than Augusta. It's not like it's a short distance. It's it's a good distance to Greenville. To mm -hmm. <coughs> Augusta, I think. <clears throat> head east on US 278 Northwest. How is that 18 minutes lower? Slow down. <clears throat> Let me stop by a garbage so you can like drop on. Head west on US-278 Northwest toward Emory Street Northwest, then turn right onto Highway 81 North. Continue on Highway 81 North for 10 miles. Let's this route here. avoids a slowdown on I-85 North. You are on the fastest route. You will arrive at 4.56 p.m. Ooh, look at the squad in F-150. Nice. Head west toward US-278 Northwest. Then turn left on the US-278 Northwest. Oh, the dumbest video I've ever made. <coughs> no other YouTuber will upload garbage like this to YouTube as long as YouTube ever exists. Okay. We got a full gas tank though. Mm -hmm. it's go. Okay, so GPS this connected to the sorry to see where we're going. Oh, it's a little table. Uh, in the middle. I'm gonna check out this guy's truck, man. That thing's nice. He's got a squatted F-150 and he's got a matching ATV. I don't know if it's squatted, is it? It might be. Oh, that's good. He's got a matching ATV. Look at that. That's what's up. My nice. belly feels cool. <clears throat> Can you, uh, GPS where the crap are going? Oh, we're at a quick trip. I'm just going to say that is a nice little setup. It is squatted a little bit. Not a whole lot, just a tiny little bit. Mm -hmm. Nice ride, bro. Thank you, man. Yeah, it's just squatted a little bit. Huh? It's just squatted a little bit in the front. Look good, bro. All right, man. That is fresh, bro. All right, left, right. What are we doing here? It says go forward 278, which is here. Okay, left or right? Here's Katie's direction. Go here! I'm like, uh... Turn right. Hmm? Turn right. I'm already turning left. Maybe right. next time you can tell me quicker. I want me to go backwards. Just like Alabama. So we automatically have to go through Monroe. We'll do a video there. And then we have to go through Athens. We'll also do a video there. <laughs> I'll do a video in this Monroe that looks really nice. 
Really, all I gotta do is pull a U-turn. I wonder if I can do it here. No, this is the intersection. Why are you on top of me while I'm trying to drive? She's literally on top of me. You asked me <coughs> to plug it in so you can see it on there. Yeah, but it doesn't, that, how, what does that require? I'm literally driving. She, half of her body's on top of mine. They don't make these Toyotas for fat people. <laughs> no, they don't. All right. Plug it in, plug it in. So we're going to go through Walnut Grove. <laughs> Monroe. We'll do a video of Monroe. <laughs> And then we're gonna go through Athens. Mm -hmm. How's we should get some Q tonight? Bob Q. I don't know. Wow, this has been the dumbest video. We've been stuck at red lights. Eating Starbucks and Starbucks lines. Minute Starbucks line. Well, well, people want to understand what Starbucks is like in certain places. <laughs> I'll tell you, when you get to the deep south, you can be at a Starbucks. That was not the worst either. And they were nice. When you get to a Starbucks, you could be at a Starbucks in the deep south. Yeah. Hands down, you could be at a Starbucks. Let me see if it wants to read. Head east on US 278 Northwest. It goes worse. In the quarter mile, turn left. As long as you're nice to where, me, what's it? Right here further, right, I'm all right. Right here or further ahead? <laughs> you're going to turn up ahead. It's not this one. It's the next one. Well, that's the thing about these YouTube videos. Here's a, it's we've, it's two thirty in the afternoon. And we're still where we woke up. Yeah. We have made no. Sometimes it's like that. Sometimes it's weird. So can you call the office and find out exactly uh, what happens when you don't pick up your package? Or if you can give them the code, or they just put it out in the hallway. Nobody's gonna steal your package. That's, that's I mean, not, I can have someone pick it up. It's not a big deal. Hmm. Just give them a call and say when you when you run through there, pick it up. Mm -hmm. I haven't been wanting to make friends with none of our neighbors, but we should at least have one of our neighbors' phone numbers. You don't think so? I've been trying to like really not be close to anybody in that building, but like I think eventually we're gonna have to have somebody. Or like, you know what I mean, like. That's the thing about moving to a place where you don't live. Like, when you move to a place where you, where you don't know anybody. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> when you move to a town where you don't know anybody, you end up in situations like this where, like, okay, somebody, you got to get a package picked up. What do you do? Right here, Katie? Hmm? Is it here? Turn yes. left onto Elm Street Northeast. Elm Street. Wrap your hood, dog. Well, I can guarantee you nobody else is going to upload a two-hour video driving around Covington, Georgia. I know who will watch this video in its entirety. Somebody wants to move here. Yeah. There's like a guy like in Colorado that wants to move here. And he's going like, to watch this whole video. And be like, wow, I'm not moving there anymore. <laughs> if you're watching this guy's uh, experience here, I'm not really, this is not what I'm looking for. Whatever milk they used, it's not coconut milk. That's what I hate about Starbucks. They never actually give you coconut milk. Like, their food's very consistent. But you just never know what you're going to get with the drinks. Mm-hmm. Did you like it? Oh, the whipped cream on the bottom? Yeah. Fabuloso. Mm hmm You know who watched this video in entirety? You just said Somebody that. moving here? Yes. You keep repeating it over and over again. You think I have, like, goldfish memory? It's living, like, living in ground <laughs> all day with you someday. You think I have, like, goldfish memory? Mm-hmm. Hey, maybe we can get somebody to pick up that package for us. Shut up. <laughs> you know who watches this video in its entirety? Now you're doing it on purpose. No, it's a different category of people. Okay. I don't know why. Oh, we went on red. Oh, no, we're going to die. We just hide behind no, the green front. arrow. No. Continue for two hours. Not in Mijo. The Mario City. 
Is that a racist car? Eh? Sure is. They have a racist car. Are we back on this road again? Were we just here earlier? Well, you're gonna be on this road for about 1.9 miles. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you know who watches videos in, in its entirety? Like maybe there's like a psychology some class somewhere. <laughs> like a, somewhere in the United States, like a psychology professor is gonna find this video and have his class like study. Like, what is wrong with these people? <laughs> And they're like, like, somewhere in America, like a so there's gonna be like a psychology teacher. Am I getting on this interstate? Or do we keep going? You're gonna keep going for one and a half miles. Unless you wanna go to Augusta, then you just get onto the eastbound ground. I think Greenville is better, but what do you think? Well, we've always wanted to see Augusta, and we're trying to do things that we've, we've already done with Augusta. Not Martinez and Evans and Aiken. Oh, cool. That's what people are like, where'd you go in Jose? I'm like, we, we don't know where we're going. We, we fight about it. We so figure we it out. out. We figure it out like at an intersection like this. Like right now we have like 35 seconds. When this light changes colors, we can either go to a, a golf star or go to Greenville. Mm -hmm. We'll know for the next 35 seconds. Mm -hmm. I actually like Greenville. Yeah. I miss it. I don't miss Augusta. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to see... Uh, what do you do, man? I don't know. What do we do? We go to Greenville. We go to Greenville. You sure? That, that is literally how we do, how the decision-making process of our channel is. People are like, do you guys know where you're going? I'm like, no. We don't. Not even we know where we're going. But I'll tell you, that is the best way to travel. Mm -hmm. you're, you're not traveling across America until you travel without a destination. Is this what our life has come to? We don't even like... Yeah. We go traveling. Like, well, we're, we're traveling. Where are you guys going? New York? Uh, no, we, we have no idea where we're going. Mm -hmm. And we always end up like in the most ridiculous place. Like, we end up like in like the upper peninsula of Michigan in the winter. <laughs> you know, like... Mm -hmm. What are we doing here? <laughs> now. <laughs> so this happened at the last Starbucks and it happened again here. Look, see these little black dots? Remember this happened at the last? Could it be um clumps of matcha? Vanilla bean. I don't know, but it's been happening quite often. It's the second time that happens to me, and it never used to happen. Mm. Panda. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Georgia 142 West Industrial Park Boulevard Northeast. Okay. Mm -hmm. At this rate, won't it be nighttime by the time we get to the room? Turn left onto Georgia. That's okay. Industrial Park Boulevard Northeast. John Williams Highway. <laughs> See, they're everywhere. And it happened to us with the last Starbucks menu order. Wait. I've never had this problem, but I guess it's been happening lately. Continue on Georgia 142 West for four miles. Oh, 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 oh. Gotta hate this integrated system. I'm trying to avoid an object on the road and it's not, and it's like, I'm pulling on the steering wheel. And it's not letting me sh turn because I was going over the yellow line.
Never again will a video this long ever be uploaded about this town on the internet. I don't know who watched this too. Somebody like in the frozen Arctic of Minnesota just wants to see somewhere where the sun's shining. <laughs> An inmate doing 45 years who misses his hood now. Who would watch an hour long video of this? Let's go through the list. Somebody moving here? A psychology class. An inmate. Nobody else has that much time. Oh my God, bro! ¿Qué estás haciendo, mijo? What was that about? All right, here he goes again. You're as stupid as your car. Uh, hi, officer. I'm not road raging anybody. Are we still in this town? Yeah. Oh, look at that one. The band looking building. Alright y'all. I think we're out of town now. I hope. I think. 2.36 in the afternoon, we're still in the first time we started. We're waking up way too late. Yeah. We got messed up kind of yesterday with the weather. We stayed up the whole night talking. Yeah. We started a good conversation. i tell you why we were up so late. We were actually in the hotel early. Mm -hmm. First, we started watching. What's that TV show we were watching? Where the people Martin are trying Land. to make, Where the people are eventually going to do something to a horse. No one's doing anything to a horse. Anyways, we watched this movie about horses. What's it called? Heartland. Heartland. And this badger guy's trying to smash this little blonde girl, but the old guy's not no. letting her. No. That's not what it's about? No. What's it about? Ranch life. Does the badger kid get to smash the little blonde girl? That's all I care about. It's a clean TV show. For families. Longest foreplay I have ever seen on any TV show. But anyways, we're watching this TV show about horses. Um, and, and this badger kid who's trying to get hooked up with this little blonde girl. But every time he's getting close to hit it, something happens and he's not able to. And then, um, so that's going on in that TV show. It's, it's a nice TV show. It's about horses. In a quarter mile. Turn yeah, right on Highway 81 North. Heartland. Okay. okay, it's called Heartland. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, then we started a conversation which we're not going to elaborate on because of the nature of it, but we're up to four in the morning talking. So between watching the movie about horses and, uh, and talking, we were up to four in the morning. Yes. Be married to someone you can talk to for hours. Women can talk all day if you let them. Continue yeah, I was the only one talking there, buddy. <laughs> Loganville. We're going to Loganville? Apparently. What are know. we making a movie at this point? It's like an hour and 15 yeah, minutes. Yeah, it's like I'm kidding you. Man. It's the longest video ever. Um, like, well, uh, the Logans are probably going to be angry. He made an hour and 15 minutes video in our town. Yeah. This looks like Alabama. Alright, y'all, we're out. <laughs>